Hello and happy 2024! I wish all of you the best from wherever you are watching and a smooth year ahead. With that, welcome to my third video of Undertale Yellow. In my previous video, we finished exploring a new area of Snowdin and had quite a bumpy sailing experience with our little burp at the end of our journey. Which brings us to today's video, where we are going to explore the dunes in Undertale Yellow. I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome back to Undertale Yellow. And also, Happy New Year! Happy 2024! And what better way to celebrate it by playing more Undertale Yellow? That's probably not the best way to celebrate it, but you know. Uh, last time, we apparently left at the dunes and the cave entrance. And so with that, let's continue. Alright, here we are. Hello there, Clover. I hope you also celebrated New Year, Clover. Whether you knew the time in the underground or not. Well, let's see. Another cavern's up ahead, okay. And it's blocked. I cannot go in there. Why? Why I cannot go in there? What is this? Is that a brick? Is this somebody POS email or something? I cannot pick it up, unfortunately. But, um, alright. Oh, thank Jesus. My eyes. Too white. Too bright. Ooh. Shimmy shimmy shama. Chibi chibi chapa. Okay. Well, I suppose we're finally home. Well, it used to be home before I freaked up everything. I like this, but I'm, I don't know how there is sand in the underground. Maybe we are really deep, deeper than deep than the underground deep, whatever that means. But hey, if there's cowboys around here, you know, I'll give this game a 10 out of 10. The West Mines. Property of Mining Co. Okay. I didn't know there were companies in the underground, but I, anything could exist. If, well, there is a west coast after all. Oh, the music is spicy. I like it. <laughs> okay, why is there a cactus in here? I'm not gonna take some bullshit answer. I want to know why there is a cactus in the underground. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, there's a chest over there. How can I... I need to drop down somehow. Dunebud popped out of the sand. Hello there. You look like a deformed jelly. With some plant on the top of your head. Let's see here. Dunebird attacked 87, looking for some fun. I don't think... Uh, uh, ooh, I don't think I'm uh, the perfect uh, choice for that. Ooh, ooh, alright. Oh my god, man, the animations for the attacks are so smooth. I love it. And we are still continuing the No Dead Run. That's right, two videos, and I have yet to die at least once. And I hope to keep it all the way to Asgore, or you know, all the way to till the entirety of the game. So let's see, uh, we can maybe pat it? You cautiously pat the top of the dune, but they seem confused. Yeah, me too. Uh, I suppose padding is the right option then, unless, uh, you know, I'm incorrect. Alright, we just need to dodge it whenever it spawns. Oh. Dune bird begins to gargle a song. Was that it? Was that the song there? A whistle? Maybe... Jiggle? You shake Dunebud back and forth. They giggle at you. You enjoy it, don't you? Huh? Oh, what's that? That's a jello, right? It is a jello. Oh, it's a sandcastle. Okay. Thanks for the tower fighting a scare right there. God damn it. Uh, maybe we need to jiggle it a little bit more? They giggle at you. That's it? Uh, maybe we need to just... Uh, call it off then. You know, just like a little child, they want to play with you, but you just have to tell them no, and you know, they will go away. So let's see. Shoo. Get out. You wave your hand dismissively at Dune, but they don't understand. Well, you know, I tried. Oh boy. What, what, what do you call those tumbleweeds? Is that what you call them? Black boy day. <laughs> do you think Clover l lives in a, you know, west coast village? Is that what you call it? Or maybe a cowboy town? I don't know the terms for it. Well, let's keep patting it, I suppose. They seem confused. I I am confused, hello? I've tried every single thing over and over again, and yet nothing has worked. What? I cannot spare it yet. Jigo pat shoe again? They still don't understand. It has to start with Jigo then, and then maybe patting or something. I have no idea. This is the strongest enemy I've fought so far, just because I cannot dissuade her away from me. Jiggle? No? Okay, I am... I am confusion. Can somebody just give me, you know, cheat the cheat codes for this fight? I think this guy is too much for me. I can't defeat him. Uh, then pad? They nozzle? Oh, there we go. 
Finally. All right, we have the sand castle again. Tower defense. We need to dodge them. Dodge the arrows. There we go. In a circle should be fine. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Jesus, finally. I suppose it's like something among uh, three paths or something. Ooh, the theme, the song. I love it. Can I go over here? Yeah, I can. Let's go down here first. And I suppose we can um, interact with this over here. There we go. So what should I put in there, I wonder? I basically have pretty much nothing to put, right? What is this? Heals 30 HP. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot to go back and... Oh, God. Is it the Dune Bud again? <laughs> Not only it is the Dune Bud, but it's double trouble Dune Bud. God freaking damn it, man. Well, I'll just defeat them and I'll catch you guys later. Alright, that took a while. But um, it wasn't actually three pads. You need to jiggle them first and then pad it. You know, I just wanted to tell you guys in case you didn't know. But like I was saying earlier, I kind of forgot to go back to the Honeydew Resort to buy the last item. Which I believe it was going to be like a armor update. I don't know what kind of armor would that would have been because I kind of have a good armor right now which heals me 2 HP every time I get damaged. And it's kind of hard to beat that one right now. So, do I have any, you know, email for somebody? Hey the dolphin. This character right here, or this guy, this person, is like the coolest, coolest thing so far in this game. You ever watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? Mail time, mail time. Receive mail, ooh. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must have sailed. Who in the god name will send me something in the freaking desert? Let's see. Slurpy letter and mole letter. Uh, let's see. Greetings, my savior and fun acquaintance. I would like to extend further gratitude for your assistance. If it weren't for you, my papillae would surely be permanently attached to that pole. Oh, it's the bunny. Is papillae another word for tongue? I never knew that. Thanks to you, I made it home in time for supper. I must say, mother really outdid herself this time. The food was exquisite. Many thanks, sincerely yours, Slurpee. So that guy name was Slurpee. Alright, bunny the Slurpee, I got it. And let's see the, uh, the, 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 wait, how do you... There we go. The, the mold letter. If you're reading this, it means you had the pleasure of meeting me. I'll make this snappy. You're not gonna believe it. I'm selling a new premium product for half off. I know what you're saying. I would gladly pay full price for your products. I appreciate that, I really do. But this ain't the time for high prices. Just find my stand and I'll give you the juicy details. Huh? Where is my stand? I didn't even know myself. Should probably go find it. Good luck. Oh, and Mo has their own uh, st uh, st stand over there. That's pretty cool. And the Mo guy is the folks that they sell, sold us the coffee stuff, the chocolate coffees. Alright, alright. I suppose those, those are all the letters we have for this area, for now at least. I didn't mean to do that, but... Oh, I really don't want to fight them, but money is money, man. I'll see you guys later. Alright, so anyway, let's see. Alert, warning sign ahead. Thanks, man. What is this one? Is it a trap? Warning, danger sign ahead. And warning, oh, danger, sandstorm ahead, take cover. Oh boy, we have some new mechanics over here. I suppose the sandstorm will randomly appear. <sighs> what was that timing, man? Just as I, I was like, about to go. Alright, let's, uh, let's just take cover over here. I couldn't see anything. Go, 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 go. Over here, over here. Nice, nice. It's a giant X over there. I don't know what that stands for, but we're going to hide over here again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice one. Oh, there's a picture over there. I will regret this, but we have to inspect the doggy. Doggy, yes, no! <sighs> you know what? It was worth it. I don't care what anyone says. It was worth it. All right, let's make our way all the way back there. I suppose we just have to go down and check that X mark or whatever that thing is. Let's stay over here. And go. Go, go, go. Um, am I safe here? Okay, I'm safe here. So, oh, what are you doing? I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There is no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't write me up, okay? This is my TNT, okay? I didn't steal it from my brother at the mines, okay? This axe was here before I arrived, okay? I, I don't believe you, buddy. You have the literal troll face on your face. And what are you, a sea monster, sea slug or something? 
I'm just waiting out the storm, okay? Get off my case, okay? Please, oh, <laughs> he can't even be bothered anymore. All right, then. Oh, well, I'll just leave you up to it, then. The pain is still wet. Uh-huh, Ned was here before. You, you don't know anything about it, huh? Can I just, like, do it for you? Oh, uh, no. It would be kind of funny if I just dis de destroyed it. I uh, explode the TNT on my own. Anyway, we have to make it back there now. And go. Hide over here. I don't know where to go after this one, though. Oh, that's a close one. Is there anything down there, I wonder? There is. There isn't. Let's go over here. Uh, I don't know what's down there. I mean, up there. Well, at least we know what's down here. Oh, wait. We can just do it like this. There we go. Oh, there's like a bridge that goes on top over there if I went that path. Let's just check this place first then. Over here. Maybe there are just different paths, but not the same. Oh, there's a guy over there. Now I have to go back and check it. God damn it. Uh, is it worth it? Probably not, but you know what? My, might as well do so. There we go. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Ah, run, Clover, run. You may be a cowboy, but you still have the lead of a uh, handle there. I can't stand storm. What? I can't stand storm. I can't stand storm this stand st sandstorm. <laughs> I can't stand storm this sandstorm. Jesus Christ, man, what a tongue twister. That's it. I, I came back just to read that. Really? Uh, I feel disappointed in myself now. But that's a cool character. It looks like a cat, a robotic cat or something. Well, that was a waste of time. But sometimes you just have to do some stuff, even if you don't have to. Jesus Christ, look at that guy's face. Hello there. So hot. And... I'll, I'll just go back there. Alright, we finally made it. So, uh, there's a switch over there that I can flip. So let's just wait for it to go. I wasn't surprised that the Santom is just a big, big fan, you know? I thought it was an actual sandstorm, but nope. Beauty order by Hotland Mechanics. Super seal of Hotland quality. The seal is drawn in permanent marker. Am I supposed to... Oh, okay, I, I get it now, I get it. It's super seal. Well, sorry to, well, you know, uh, ruin your fun. It's probably better to leave it turn off, yeah? Bro, what's your damage? Can a monster cool off every now and then? You're such a killjoy, bro. Sorry, I get... <laughs> I get, all, I get cranky when I don't get my fan time. I like funny here, so I decided to put it to use. I should move to Waterfall, bro. Much cooler. Yeah, I agree. Well, you do you, bro. Uh, let's go back and talk to the other characters now, since the Sandstorm, quotation marks, is now, you know, over. I couldn't... That's it? Oh, that's it? Alright. So let's go back to the white blue guy and see if they destroyed that entrance over here. Alright, are you going to do it? I'm just waiting. It's, it's over, what do you mean? There's no more sandstorm. Come on now, bro. <sighs> I, I hate that guy so much. Alright then. Let's see what do we have over here. Looks like a boss fight. But it's just a great, great tree. Is that your cousin, Flavi? Or maybe your great-grandfather? Howdy. Strange sight, huh? Who knew something could actually grow here? Anyway, great job so far. This place is much more treacherous than Snowdin. Keep it up, Clover. Thank you, pal. But this is just my home turf, Lavi. You have nothing to worry about. Let's get moving. I'm gonna catch fire if I stay out too long. So in so the only place you can actually live is just in the ruins, Flavi, huh? Let's get moving. Oh, okay. Well, see you then, Flavi. So right now we're at the tree. Just the tree. I mean, to be honest, I would be surprised as well if there was a tree growing in the freaking middle of the desert. Up or right? Up or right? Right is this? Alright, it's always the right answer. Uh, but since it's the right answer, I wanna go to the wrong answer first. What do we have over here? Oh? Is it Mo? It is Mo. Hey there. I recognize the team anywhere I go. Oh boy. Well, hello there, partner. Thank you. Guess who it is? That's right, it's Mo. Long time no see. How have you been? Don't answer that, we don't have the time. 
I'm here to make you a brand new offer. A hot climate calls for a hot item. Shouldn't be the other way around. Check it. Oh, is it just hot water? I went all out this time. This is a real delicacy around here. It's called water. <laughs> Actual scam professional. Even Spamton was somehow better than this guy. Come on now, man. Lucky for you, I'm giving out free samples. Want a glass? Yeah, sure. Coming right up. Don't tell me it's like a lottery kind of gla free sample. Jesus Christ. Wow. One moment. Oh, see ya, man. Oh, dear. There we go. If you know your boy Mo, you know I planned all of that, surely. Here's my real product, iced tea. It's like the sequel to water. Way better. <laughs> now, I'm gonna be real with you. The tea doesn't have ice in it particularly. It started as a glass of ice, but that melted. All I had to do was throw a tea bag in there and wham! Don't worry, it tastes better this way. Here's what I got, iced tea, sea tea, green tea, sea tea. Like salty, is that it? Let's get the iced tea for now. Great choice. Drink up. I would like to buy more, but unfortunately I have just no space for anything, right? Yeah, I am full. I am full, Mo. I am so sorry. We need to find some kind of item box somewhere. So let's see here. I see heals 20 HP, a glass of warm sweet tea. Ooh. A label with a sketch of more grinning is glued to the side. I suppose free advertisement. Well, I'll come back. I just hope that Mo stays there because I need to find a box to put my items in. I'm not going to go all the way back uh, for, for the other box though, no. That is just too much uh, moving and I'm lazy, so yeah. Let's see if this pet, if there's anything here. I swear, if we sand dune again, thank god. The animation... Oh, I, I, I'm just drooling all over it. Sir's leader has a proposition. Real. <laughs> Man, you can feel the freaking vibes of a young teenager making this game. Or maybe I'm just too old, you know, real. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be honest, these guys are probably just older than me. <laughs> or developers, I mean. Uh, attack A defensive and trying to get a leg up in the world. Do snakes have legs? You can trust me. Start on me, mom. A British knight? Oh dear god. Oh, no, no, no. We are not going to play this game, okay? I'm not gonna get eaten. I just got eaten there, but at least I still have a lot of HP. Sir's leader lost access to his bank account. He wonders if he could borrow yours. Is this a scam? <laughs> scam, I mean. Let's challenge it. Uh, you asked Sir's leader just what he can help you with. I'm an excellent traveler companion. I am. Oh, boy. What is that? What? I have no idea what that is. Let's just stay over here for now. Ooh, he's like a vase. Lost access to his bank account. Uh, I guess we can trust. You buy into such little fancy words, something feels off. Yes, we're gonna have to go far, you and me. Never trust a snake, I suppose. And why does a snake, you know, work in a pottery despite having no hands whatsoever? Even legs would have helped a little bit, you know? There's this iconic side eye. <laughs> Fantastic side eye. Let's doubt then. You step away from Sir's leader, his pursuit falters. Come on mate, don't leave me out to dry. Get it, because we're in the desert. Very funny, haha. <laughs> I think this is a safe spot, none of those things can hit me. Uh, you hear some jingling as Sir's leader rattles inside his pot. Well, what else, do I keep doubting? You refuse to let Sir's leader become a main character. Fine, but you're missing out big. Enjoy the snake size hole in your heart. Aww. I didn't mean to miss the snake. But, you know, never trust the snake. Because, well, they lie. Unfortunately. Yep. Goodbye, Mr. Sir's leader. Can't go for that guy, huh? Is it worth it? Maybe, maybe. So, what do we have over here? Is it something? Hello? I cannot go. I suppose we need to catch whatever that thing was uh, that just fell down. Oh, never mind. Those are just things to destroy me. Of course they are. Am I safe here? It seems that I am. Oh. Oh, I, okay. So it, it, it's kind of like just to see the rhythm of it. 
Come on now. Do you think I'm a child or something? Look. First try, okay? First freaking try. Easy. So goddamn easy. Oh, well. What is that? Those are like recycling gold mines? Is that it? Sir Slither? Oh, Cactoni comes to share his pain. Do cacts... Cact... Cacts? <laughs> what, what cactus, I mean. Do cactus live in constant pain because, you know, it's, it's part of them? Like a, a hedgehog or something? Cat Tony lacks physical affection. Oh, don't worry buddy, I'll hug you up. I'm burning you. Is it because you live in the desert or is it just because you're hot in general? Ow. Would like to cry, but it's too hot. How oh, do you say? Should I touch it? You give Captain a careful pat in between two spines. Does this mean you care about me? Yeah, yeah I do. What is this? What is the green thing? Oh, it's like healing me. That's cool. Feels love for the first time. Oh, look at this happy face. See guys, you do something good for somebody and it goes a long, long way. Where is the freaking box item? I need it. Hello? Watch it. I have places to be. Got a call about a job in Snowden. I was supposed to be there yesterday, but the walk is really far. Wasn't feeling up to it. Oh well, on I go. Anything else? Can't talk right now. No, 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 no. Please, please. Well, you know. Wow, that, I, they actually transitioned someone else. That's something new, I guess. I mean, this entire thing is a new experience, okay? What am I even saying? You spot a dark, dislodged stone among this pile of rocks. Take it? Not enough inventory space. God damn it. East mines. Uh, this pad is blocked. A heap of fallen rocks block your pad. What an inconvenience, truly. Well, to be honest, it's better than, you know, invincible block hedge. What do you call invincible pads? No, it's not that. Just invincible berries, there we go. Ah, oh, thank god, finally. So, I'll try to sort this stuff out. I think I'm going to leave out the items that heal me a lot because I have the armor that heals me, that heals me to HP. And I'm kind of running out of space in the box as well, which I don't really like. A few minutes later. Alright, I finished sorting out my inventory. Apparently, I can just... Uh, I forgot that this is a dimensional box, so I can just put however much I want. So, with that now done, I am going to go back all the way, purchase stuff from the Mo guy, and pick up this conveniently black rock over here first. Alright, take it. You got some flint. I can only take... It's just a rock now. Oh. So what can I do with flint? Ammo. Ooh, weapon attack 9. A dusty black rock might be useful for combat. Alright, let's equip that then. There we go. You load the flint into your gun. Might start some fire with this one. Ooh. What about this one? It's 6. Ah, oh, okay. So 3 plus 3 damage. Alright. I'll put the ice ammo in the box first. And off to more we go. Alright then. Hello, Demoro. I came back. Let's see what you have in store for me. I have a lot of money. Don't worry. Let's see. CT. Great choice. Drink up. So this is CT over here. Heals 10 HP, glowing tea that'll jolt your system. A labor reading, the real deal, is stuck on the glass. Well, at least we found out that it's not really salty tea. I'm kinda disappointed, but well, I think it's better, you know, marketing-wise and taste-wise, actually. Green tea, great choice. Drink up. The alphabet must have 25 letters now, cause I'm fresh out of tea. Ah, that's a good one, actually. I, I don't have anything to complain about. I'm sure we'll meet again. Thanks for believing in me. By the end of this game, this guy will become rich just because of me. The only single patronage of for this guy. And goodbye, Mo. Can I open this pathway as well? Discrimination against real humans. Well, let's see, a green tea. 21 HP, Jesus. I see, but died green. Plus 1 HP for style. Dear God. That's the most... Uh, I, that's the most healing item so far. Well, at least we got the things that I wanted. And Flowey, can you like, you know, tell a pal here? Thanks, buddy. And now we just have to make it all the way back to the cave entrance. Alright, what do we have here, I wonder? I think I'm going to keep this stuff for now. Maybe I'll put the green tea because that heals me too much and I don't need it. A set of cubbies dividing the miner's personal belongings. 
You notice a discarded belt buckle lying in one of the compartments. Take it? Yeah, sure, you brought a steel belt buckle. Taking anything else would definitely be theft. <laughs> I mean, taking one item is already a theft, but oh well. Ooh, armor defense 7, a shiny belt buckle made out of uh, made of fine materials. Okay, okay. But it doesn't heal me anything, so you know what? Into the trash box you go. I'm just kidding, it's the best box in the entire world. A set of cubbies dividing, yep, yep, yep. A bow tie, a snow globe, trivia books, cobwebs, all very useful. Can I take something? No? It looks like I can take the, the bow tie, but I suppose I cannot then. So, uh, what do we have? What is this over here? Several racks lined the wall. Ready to bear various pickaxes and hard hats. Oh. Alright, so I think this should be the dorms. At least. Oh, what is this? A conveyor belt setting several rocks and gems to a sorting machine. A large dirty sticker can be seen on the side. Assembled by Steamworks Engineers. 20. Interesting. What do the underground need the gold again for? I know there are those are rocks and gems, but what do they you know, need them for? Except, well, money, I guess. Oh, hello there. Alright, so this pad is blocked for now. As a slime, I'm outraged. As a slime, I... I, I is that it? In case of fire, new stairs. Alright. How, how, how am I gonna get to my station now? The elevator door is jammed, man. Jam! I'm calm. I'm calm, okay? That was a lie. I'm freaking out. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. You gotta help me. I, I cannot do much, man. A piece of wood is lodged in between the elevator doors. What could fix this poor elevator? You can't think of a way to make this work. Well, I guess I have to find a key item somewhere in this minefield or whatever it's called. In case the conveyor belt ceases to work, fix it. Alright, thanks, man. Thanks for the advice. I, I sure will fix it if I knew how to. What can I do for your friend? Uh, nothing for now. Holler if you need something. Oh, what do we have this side? Oh, hello there. You're diligently working. What do you want? Nothing. Go bug someone else then. Aren't you a bug yourself? It's jam again. I swear, nothing ever works here. I'm busy, kid. Uh, fine. I'll lend you my pickaxe for a price. How's the sturdy G sound? No way. Then I can't help you. Find a way to, way to fix it. 3G kit, no way. Ah oh, man, such a greedy bastard. Elevator, oh, fiddlesticks. I've seen a few pickles in my day and this is certainly one of them. Tell you what, I'll give you my trusty pickaxe here if you... Oh, we're the monster trivia game. Oh boy, this will be fun. All you have to do is answer these three questions correctly. You only get one try, so do your best. Question one. Who is the current royal scientist? Choose the correct name. Has Alphys? I'm not sure. Okay, thank god. How are you supposed to notice if you've never played Undertale, I wonder? Question 2. What is most monster food made out of? Only one answer is correct. Magic, snails... I have... I don't know actually. Ingredients? Ah. Uh... There's gotta be another way you can fix the elevator. I am so freaking mad, man. Should I've just gone with the snails? Should I restart and go back? Oh, I wanna do it so bad. But oh well, it is what it is. All right, give it. Greedy bastard. I don't need it no more, cause I have a spare. I'm so mad, I am so mad. A sturdy pickaxe, yep. <laughs> Man, I wanted to get it right. Oh, it sucks. It pains me so much now. I will never know what the actual true answer is. The answer is probably snails, right? I remember Toriel having snail pie. That's the only thing I can connect it to. Or maybe it was magic. I, I just don't remember, man. God damn it. I knew ingredients were was such an obvious bait. I still fell for it. Oh well. You use the pickaxe to hack away the wood. Well. There it goes. The pickaxe broke. Thanks, man. And the other guy follows. What about the slime guy? No? Are we stuck in here again now? So, how's your day, big fella? You don't wanna talk? Alright. Oh, you know, I enjoy some long time in the ele elevator as well. 
especially when there's some good music. It's still a little bit awkward though because this is not exactly a good music. But um, it was a nice ride to enjoy it with you, Val. And there he goes. Oh well. In case of water, sweet. <laughs> hey there, Flowey. I'm sorry, I failed the monster trivia question for question uh, questionnaire. There we go. Unfortunately. Golly, the emblems on these minor uniforms are very interesting. Guess I'm the boss around here. <laughs> Jokes aside, you got some smarts. Fix that elevator with ease. Proud of you. I could have done even a better job than that, Flowey. Unlucky, unlucky. I wonder what the goal of this mine is. Whatever it is, no one seems to know what they're doing. <laughs> you seem kind of disappointed, Flowey, I'm just saying. Keep on, buddy. Alright, I won't pester you any longer, Flowey. What do we have over here, then? I sense a boss fighting coming for some reason. Oh my, ball charges near you. That's a cool looking cow. Or beaver, maybe? A fragile facade. I wouldn't mess with me if I were you. Oh, believe me, I would mess with me if I were me! Are those men toss or something? Is it like a cup cow? I, I don't even know what a cup cow even means. Paul notices a red object but fights against the temptation to run at it. So it's more like a ball then. I suppose I should have guessed from the play words, but no way. It looks more like a cow, okay? Come on, though. Tell, look at that and tell me that's not a cow. Uh, Talon? You point out the fragility of Ball's body. He looks distressed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm practically made out of steel. I didn't mean to uh, make you angry, buddy. Over here. Alright, now we're safe. Uh, so that wasn't the right choice. What else? Wait, wait, wait. Sounds like a hundred toasts. Clean? You step towards Ball, but he backs up and huffs at you. You're not tough enough to lay a hand on me. So what am I supposed to do to prove that I'm tough, huh, big guy? Should I just lick you clean with my tongue or something? Pala I forgot the, the other terms for it. <laughs> Palate or something. Hops and puffs and other stuffs. Console? Yes, bow to open up and be genuine with you. But I... I am tough. No, you're not. You are a weakling. You're nothing. You're worthless. <laughs> Lie me. <laughs> Beginning to put the pieces together. Uh, wait. You tell Bo he's cool the way he is. There we go. Really? You mean it? Yes. So now, can I like, you know, clean you or something? Please? Please. Just keep dodging the mentos like that. There we go. Beginning? Alright. Uh, clean now? You use your bandana to wipe away some mud on Bo. He sparkles. Oh, look at it. He's happy now. I didn't know I could reflect so much, thank you. Oh boy, lots of repetitive attacks. I don't mind them, but this deals a lot of damage, so I will mind it just, just a little bit to discover his true self. Goodbye. 12 goals for that? I don't agree. I need to go back and heal myself first. Hey there, Flavi. Heal me. That is your only duty in this game, and it will always stay that way. Oh, hello there. You look cool, I guess. Oh, we have some kind of puzzle here. Oh, okay. I, I thought I would just, you know, get crushed by it. Hey, just in time. I'm sure you noticed all this mining mumbo jumbo lying around, yeah? Well, corporate said we have to solve puzzles as we work to exercise the old knocking. They even made the foreman and lock the door until work's done. Pretty unnecessary, if you ask me. Seeing as I'm on my permanent smoke break, could you solve it for me? You look like a smart kid. Give it a shot. What do you need? Can you help me? Wow. No. Alright, look. Cancer, but still, that looked pretty cool. I like it. Do you have anything else in store though? You're not gonna solve the puzzle by talking to me. Kiss this day is so lazy, I swear. Why don't you do it yourself then, big guy? But to be honest, you're actually working in a minefield, so I, I guess I'm not one to talk. Uh, what do we have over here? Do I have to like press this stuff over here? There we go. So this thing goes in there, yeah? There we go. Now this thing... Oh, it all drops somewhere into the abyss. Now you go over here, Mr. X. There we go. Kaboom! Kaboom! Uh, this one connects over here. And there we go. 
That's pretty much it. And then the door opens. Nice. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing how you accomplish your mission, Blue Crate. Very nicely done. The pad has been opened. So, what do you have to say about that, huh, pal? You gotta wonder when old Asgur is gonna call off this ex excava excavation. I fumbled that. Mining Co. has been in business for decades. Great job. I knew you could do it, kid. Won't be another job until tomorrow. I can spend the rest of my workday doing absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. I already was. Yeah. Wait, so that was it? This is your entire job just to pull three triggers? That's it? No wonder why you're just slacking off all the time. Asgore, you need to fire this guy immediately. I do not care his position. Fire him. A set of mostly empty copies. Nothing too interesting. Nothing too interesting yet. <gasps> A little safety jacket hangs on the wall. For me? It's for me? Can I wear it? Please, please. Safety jacket, armor defense 6. A small jacket that protects its wear from the world's dangers. Wait, wait, wait. You don't, you don't understand the highlight the yellow jacket. You are all ready to take care of business. Uh, it doesn't show on my body though. Unfortunate. We're going to take the civil scout. That's the best item. All right. So you look like the guy that's about to blow off the mines or the walls. I guess at the beginning. I lost all of my TNT. Yep, you're the brother. I have to tell the foreman. He'll fire me, I'm sure, but it's my fault. I will go to tell him right now, but I lost my hard heart as well. I can't protect my dome from the hazardous frogs outside. Today isn't my day. Oh, I feel bad for you. I have a brother, you see. Yeah, I met him. I work at the mines to provide for us. He doesn't have a job, mostly just gets into mischief. But he's happy, so I'm happy. Jesus Christ, man. Why can I not have a brother like you? You're such a kind of... Well, to be honest, I will be leeching off, as off you as well if you did that. <laughs> I'm guilty as well, man. How will, how will I be able to look him in the face after I get fired? Today... Alright, that's it. Yeah, sorry, pal. Your brother is... Well, trying to get rich by blowing off a very suspicious looking wall. But you know... Oh. Alright, I guess we can just push it like that then. There we go. Here's your hat, buddy. You... you found my hat! You are a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you, but I am eternally grateful. You got eternal gratitude. Hey, sometimes the most important items are the feelings, you know? I know I said I would go to tell the forum in that. I'm pretty scared. A few more minutes in my uniform won't hurt. Alright, you enjoy yourself then. Your brother... I, I kinda wanna snitch on him, but I, I cannot unfortunately. I will craft a steel minecart. Yep, that's all that is to it. Well, boss fight incoming. I just feel it inside my bones. Oh. More pad. Caution. Falling rocks. Will I just die? I mean, that thing looks pretty heavy. And pretty big as well, I'm just saying. Alright, let's be careful. Be careful, be careful. Alright, I made it so now. Jesus. Okay, I spoke too soon. Be careful, be careful, be careful! I almost got squished to death there. What's this? You notice the UGPS logo on the crates? It appears they can handle more than letters. Oh, so they do deliver items as well. Well, Flowey, you know what to do now. Call them immediately. Oh my. There's a lot of people in here. What's this? Oh, it's like a bridge. Are you a bunny or are you a fox? I just adore mining. Mine, 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 day and night. Gotta find a whole bunch of sparkly gems. Do you know a game called Minecraft, perchance? I think you'll enjoy it. Do not doubt my work ethic for one second. I work hard and I'm not on thin ice with the foreman. Oh, okay. Uh, I see, he's, he's just losing it. I am on the thickest ice of all time. That face right there, you see those wrinkles around his mouth, his mouth, their mouth? Yeah, he's just on the verge. You put that guy on the bridge over there, he might just jump off. Mining, mining, mining. Okay, I can handle this, Jesus. I'm on my 14th warning. 14th! I've heard rumors that the foreman has a 16 strikes. You're out policy. Couldn't he lighten up a little? 
I think that's more for your fault at, at that point. How do you even get 14 warning anyway? Ah, this is fun. Well, buddy, I hope you enjoy yourself a little bit more. You, that doesn't look healthy whatsoever, just saying. The shelf is lined with several books, some educational, some recreational. A book titled Gemstone Fever catches your eye. Read it? Yeah, sure. The underground has been the home to thousands of gemstones. Yet only four types have been discovered. The swell, the swelter swell stone, hue yellow. This stone emits immense heat, some depending on its height. It is also the brightest stone, frequently used to illuminate various underground locations. The glacial stone, glacial, I guess? Hue blue. Opposite of the swelter stone, emits a frigid, frigid temperature. This stone is abundant in cooler areas such as Snowdin and Waterfall. The aromatic, the aromatic stone, hue green. This red stone smells like apples, that is all. <laughs> the pink stone, hue in the name. No trade for this stone has been discovered as of publication. You sift through the book and catch a, a couple more facts. With the temperature stones having higher quantities in certain areas, they can be a large factor in determining their location's climate. Gemstones do not have much monetary worth within the underground economy. Instead, they are often utilized for their traits, jewelry, or other decoration. The largest gemstone to be discovered is located in the dunes. It is approximate to be as big as 10,000 hard hats. That's really big. You close the book and put it back. You are now dizzy with gemstone fever. Uh, it is never... Well, what happens if I give it to that guy, I wonder? And like I was saying, it is never enough facts about gemstones. This cactus does not need love. Aww, but I want to hug it. It has been two days without a workplace accident. Just two? How long has this place been operating, by the way? Maybe they just opened recently? Maybe, maybe? I, I hope so. What? Are you a seagull? What? A sea fish? A, sea f a fish working in the desert? Welcome to the mighty coal mines. I wasn't expecting visitors. If you have an inquiry, please take it up with my assistant. But I, I want to talk to you. Gilbert, please. We've been married for 27 years. You can handle the questions yourself. Certainly, dear. Um, if you're gonna ask about the hot conditions, I'm ordering more glacial stone cold packs later today. And if you're gonna ask about the falling rocks, I'm gonna investigate it soon. No need to worry, everything is fine. Somebody could die from those stones, I'm just saying. So, what is it? Fire. Someone isn't doing their job correctly? Well, I never. They deserve a good slap on the wrist that they do. One more mistake and I might put them in the timeout corner. I'll uh, send Angie down to confront them. You won't fire them, will you? Of course not. The only monster I ever fired was the health inspector. Fired him before he arrived. Ay 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 ay. I kinda understand why this place is in such a hazardous state. But the employees uh, benefits are kinda cute, I guess. I mean, they're not firing them, so I guess you will never lose your job. Maybe that's the upside of this place. Uh, I don't know, man. I take great pride in these mines. Been supervising them for around 30 years. Here every single day. I did take a week off when Makita was born, but was right back at it when the time came. So in June, the progress report for that week was above average. Ah, uh, I, I see how it is now. Jesus Christ. If, if you ever see my kid out there, tell them that their old man misses them. Uh, how about you leave and you know, let somebody else take place or take charge of this place? How about that? Hmm? You don't look like a bad guy. Really, you don't. But I, I think it's time to let go, old man. This place is probably eating your life at this point. Hello there. My name is Angie. I'm the receptionist of Mining Co. How may I help you? The hazards? Yes, I'm aware of the dangers that lie outside the mines. I could investigate it, but... My husband, Gilbert, needs to take more initiative. He's been here for 30 years. I, that's enough. I asked him to do it, let's see, six hours ago. <sighs> Baby steps. Anyways. I've heard that several hazards have been uh, around the dunes. I hope it isn't those wild east monsters pulling pranks. 
They tend to step out of line every now and then. I can't help but feel they are a bad influence on Moray. Uh, this matters don't pertain to you. I apologize. So I guess those two guys are their kids? They're working in the same place and only the youngest one is like taking off? Probably not because uh, they don't look each other. They don't look similar, right? That, that's all I'm gonna say. This business is more important than it may seem. It isn't easy for monsters to find a job these days. For that reason, we hire anyone who applies and you never fire them. All except for children. I think that's illegal. You just think so, huh? <laughs> There's a term for it. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in the dictionary somewhere. You have a good journey. Heard it could get rocky. Ah, I see. Cute one, dear. I've been waiting to say that. That's my Angie. For 30 years at least. 30 years. Oh man, these people. Just just leave your kid for the you know in this place. Give them the job, please. You need a vacation. Oh, what's this? Alright, so we have to write that. Before we go there, what do we have down here? Oh my, hello there. Are you a wolf? What's up? You visit you visiting or are you lost? I work here actually. Ah. That's cute, but you can't pull one over one over me. Well, I mean, I tried. The foreman doesn't hire kids, though several employees seem to have the brain of one. I'm sorry, that was been. You're very smart, I'm sure. Enjoy your visit. A well kept is still my crime, but what are you doing here? A rusty conveyor belt carrying various gems and stones. My job is to send all gemstones we find on this floor down to the, to the sorting machine. Ah, I see. From there, I'm not quite sure where they go. That's the problem with this place. You have to figure most things out yourself. It's an honest living, though. Eh, I suppose that's better than anything. The safety nest is kind, kind of, you know, trimming on a thin line. I, I suppose nobody has died yet. At least I hope so. Oh, I know of a fun activity for you on your visit. There's a fortune teller set up in town. I visit her every week to hear about my potential future. Give her some business if you pass by the area, okay? My break is almost over, it seems. Oh well. You know, you're chill and you probably hold the most genuine conversation so far in these minds. Not genuine, but coherently, I suppose. Whoops, you're around then. Whatever you are, fox, dog girl, fox girl, I don't know. So flowy, how are you doing, pal? I miss you. Howdy. This cave sure is ginormous. I hope this rail leads to an exit cause it's getting stuff in here. Enjoy the ride, pal. Minecraft. Minecraft? No, my, my boss, I mean. There's going to be a boss here. Come on, just swap in the card. You've been through much worse. Oh, minecart, Minecraft. Come on, alright, that's it. Well, Flowey, I guess. We are going to see our first boss in the mines. An empty cart seems on the rails. Totally nothing suspicious whatsoever. Hop in? Yeah, sure. See ya, Flavi. Adios, compadre. Oh. It's just a genuinely good scenery. I, I, I really don't have any trust for this game, huh? I mean, it's beautiful. What else am I supposed to say? It's glowing, yellow bright, just like clover. Can we go a little bit faster? It's kind of awkward just saying it. Saying it. <laughs> All right, that was enjoyable. Not enjoyable enough though, but still enjoyable nonetheless. Oh, well, hello there, pal. You seem a little bit distressed, but in better shape than earlier, that's for sure. Hey, thanks for saving me back there. Now I can stand in place at a higher elevation. That's it, rock is right. That's, that's the all. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll leave it to you then. What? Oh, another puzzle. Is the green guy here as well, I wonder? The second ground S and case minecart you've seen today. What luck? Yep. What? What? Total luck. Oh, that's the same. Never mind it. What do we have over here? You hear gooey noises coming from the crates. Are there slimes in there? Are we trapping slimes, monster slimes in there now? Is that it? Is that the case? Uh, the disparity of co-workers of working in the mines, I, I mean. So what do we have over here? Let's see. That the blue ones should go over here, so like... Uh, 
Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Stop, stop, and brrrrap. One more, one more. There we go. All right, go. I don't have time for this, man. Wasting my time, effort, money on these puzzles. <sighs> All right, that's the last one. Took me a little bit, but it's finally done. Hopefully, this will be the last puzzle. High powers will be disappointing if he heard me say that, but they're not that difficult, so yeah. And let's continue on our journey. What do we have over here? A basketball hoop? What is this? Some stale fruitcake sits in a bucket. Left over from a mining co holiday party. Take it. Yeah, sure. Just a bucket of trash. Fascinating. I took the uh, fruitcake from the trash. Alright, great stuff, man. Fruitcake. 25? Somewhat dried fruitcake with a few gemstones inside. Huh. That's a lot of HP, man. We broke the record for the most healer item so far, that was, which was 21 HP, I believe, and now it's 25. Hello, Mister. Did you venture through the whole mine? What a journey. For your troubles, I'll let you in on a little secret. You see, we aren't mining for gemstones at all. Those things are everywhere, practically worthless. We're actually mining from mineries like this one in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see. They're also very... Oh. You saw nothing. So, you just eat them? I'm famished. Such a tiny body can fit such a big thing inside. Fascinating. Ah, finally out of the mines. Uh, take this with you, I don't need it. I think I'm going to get some... Uh, what do you call it? Healing item with me. Just in case, you know. Just in case. I don't think I'm gonna die. But, you know, who knows. I'll get a cold pop. How much is that again? 12 HP, yeah. That's enough. Hello there, characters. Do you need love and hugs as well? No? What is this? No! I didn't read the sign! No! So, what do we have here? Hey there, Flowey. Howdy. Oh boy, what is this? Gee, would you look at that. I can almost see the king's castle from here. Eh, Asgore. Monster shower him with praises, but it's totally overblown. See, he's what they call a boss monster. Means he has special traits, more power than others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact. But only for a moment before, boom, you win. I've heard the guy is immortal too, can't age a second. At least not anymore. Wild, huh? Boss monsters know how to clinch to life, that's for sure. Hey, don't let all that info scare ya. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster soul. Asgore may seem intimidating, but it's all show. Deep down, he's afraid of you, a true pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my pal for what's to come. What What do you mean, what's to come? Are we, f are we already at Asgore's place? Just like that? Really? Gee, what a view. Even though we aren't very close to the castle, it feels like we've accomplished so much as a team. You, you, Flowey, besides the dialogue and equational saving, you did nothing. Shut up! Wasn't that long ago that I was teaching you how to dodge attacks? A lot can happen in a short time. I suppose that's true. As nice as this is, we do have places to be. Let's keep a move on, Clover. Alright, Flowey. It's kind of hard to see the castle. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Is the castle like upside down or something? Uh, maybe this. Maybe we, the castle is in Australia. You know, the ground part is what I'm trying to. Yeah, let, let's just go. All right. So let's see here. What's on the right side? A pathway. 
So this kind of mirrors the waterfall section where we see the kingdom, right? In Undertale. Oh, what's this? A classic rock dropper 900. Technology is amazing. Didn't uh, the other Arthur Seal guy uh, said that he's going to investigate, you know, the issue? Aren't they just, well, this stuff over here? Is he just lazy? Oh, signature of ownership, North Star. Paper is stapled. Built to order by Hotline Mechanics. Signature, huh? But this is not Hotline, is it? I cannot go down there. Oh, that was something. Those tiles were built for some reason for Hotland, but they're in this area for some reason. Ooh, what's that uh, glowing thing over there? Is it one shot, I wonder? It, it is beautiful, alright? That's all I'm gonna say. Oh? Hello? Who is it? No one? Okay then. Well, back to our journey we go. Oh! Halt! Who is this Papi Chulo? I, El Bellador, have tasked myself with confrontation. The air is much too quiet, much too jerry. You make no noise when you move. You like rhythm, feeling, fervor. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. Look at that costume, man. El Nino right here. No, no, this will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you to dance, a dance of competition. All right, I'm down. How did you even spawn those uh, dancing boards? I'm not gonna ask. To truly find oneself, they must ignite a passion within. Let us duel. Ooh. I want to see your spirit of fire. One and two and... Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, I have to press them. Thanks, man. Is it? Is that like a chicken costume or something? It looks like a chicken costume. Ooh. El Bellador. Attack 9, defense 7. The definition of passion. Ah, uh, that was much too simple. Let us try this. Oh, I have to hold whenever I go to the other lanes. Oh, I almost messed up there. Because I wanted to go to the right, to the green side, but when you let go, you just get in the middle immediately. It smells like disco. Uh, troll, small, and stare. What about troll? You clumsily spin around. El Balador appreciates the effort. Is this guy like Metaton? Well, the aesthetics are like Metaton, you know? There's even lightning in the background. Heating up. Yep. Oh, look at those styles, those poses. Oh my, the, the timing is kind of weird because you have to hold it, but you also don't have to hold it when you're in the middle. So that kind of throws me off. You feel the rhythm in your soul. Uh, smile? You begin to enjoy yourself and let out the grin. El Bellador smiles back. Hey, I like this guy. The passion, it grows. I agree. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, God. All right. The rhythm is kind of tied to the music in the background, I think. It's a little bit off. Maybe that's because of my timing. Flexes his huge muscles. And stare. He stop dancing and look at El Balador. He upsets him. Oh. Aha, yes. This is what I live for. Well, I guess staring is not the option then. Ow. 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 Yeah, the middle part throws me off a lot. Because I have to hold, I have to drop, and then I have to hold back. If you don't, I'm going to like hit the red or the blue notes instead, instead of the green one. Oh, the flashing lights makes you dizzy. So what do we do now? Just keep trolling? Appreciate the effort. A life without dance is empty, I say. Alright. Oh, that was smooth. Bam, bam. I don't know what's the uh, awkward uh, silence after each uh, rhythm, but you know what? Maybe he's just like, adjusting himself. Those pants uh, in the groin area, they don't, they don't, you know, adjust themselves. So smile again. Others say that dance can also take life away. I do not see what they mean. Uh, I mean, I can kind of see it though. All right. Ooh, 
8 HP. I might just consider healing myself here. Uh, it's kind of getting a little bit hard, but not too hard yet. So, troll again. I don't think with these boss fights over here, I don't think there's much I can do in terms of uh, choosing to act. So I just have to like keep acting uh, instead of fighting, just, just kill time maybe. A world of solitude and silence? That is not for me. The underground is much too depressing, you see. I would like to disagree. There's a lot of unique fellas down there. Oh, buddy, I almost died there. All right, we can use uh, a healing item over here. Which helped me the most, I wonder. It's like 14 CT fruitcake as well. Let's use the candy corn. That's 9 HP, right? Now, you now know why it was discarded. You record 9 HP. Oh, come on. It's not that bad, right? We're trapped within a barrier with no hope for freedom. A sad, sad situation. But this is not sad for I, El Ahalbadur. I press them, but for some reason it just doesn't work. I don't know why. Maybe I just missed the timing or something. Flexes his huge muscles. Uh, let's use... I don't remember which... I think the CT like heals me the most. The fruit case is like second maybe? The cold pop is like 12 or something. Called chocolate pop. It has the distinct flavor only possessed by truly cold things. Alright. We have two healing items left. It's not too bad yet. I don't want to die, man. I, keep, I, I want to like survive till the end. We must make do with what we have. Find time for activities that make us happy. I'm outgoing because happiness is not a quiet virtue. I often encourage monsters in hope that it is contagious. Well, that is admirable, but please, they can't die because of this, you know. Ooh, that's tough. That's rough. Hmm, all the flashing lights make you dizzy. I don't remember which one, so I'm just going to use the CT. You join the CT, your soul speed increases. You recover 10 HP. Okay, so the fruitcake is the one with 25 HP, I believe. Even if Monster Crying is cursed to this green state, we must take it out to the end. All the way up to the finale. Oh, uh, what does that imply? Is this it? Alright, I think that's it. Alright! <sighs> and there we have it. The first death of many. Ah! Here, oh, I hate that. I hate that. Surely you can dance better than that. So you have the, uh, unique dialogues for each boss fights. I'll to read them all. Oh, interesting. Nah, we don't need it. But man, I don't get the timing, like I, I go to the right lane or the left lane and I press Z, it just doesn't uh, register for some reason. I don't know, it's because uh, I'm pressing two buttons is one so the game doesn't know what to do or like, like man, ah. Uh... Well, that's it, no more, I, I, I thought that at least I could make it to Asgore, you know, without dying. But the no dead run officially ends here, I tried. 1 and 2 and 1 and 2. Well, I guess we're just going to play casually from now on. <laughs> we were playing competitively Undertale Yellow before, okay? Now we play casually. Oh, this actually reminds me of something. It looks like a Metaton character, but the attacks are similar to that of Undyne. Well, not totally similar because Undyne is more like blocking left, down, upright. This is. It has the colors, okay? But you also have to like block. Technically block? Hit the notes at the right timing, at the right time. Whew. 15 HP there, right? Yeah. I wonder if more armor should be better for this fight, because I really like the healing mechanic. That saved me like almost uh, throughout this fight. But maybe if I had more armor, then maybe I'll, do, I'll just take one damage. But I cannot heal after that though. Or at least not automatically. Did you see that? How, how did I get hit there? Okay, man. Oh, that was so bad. 
uh, the CT, right? The call pop is like 12. Let's use the CT. Oh, that was 10 HP. Well, GG, I guess. Yep, GG. Oh, we're, we're so done. We are absolutely freaked. Yep. Ah! I hate the middle part. I have to let go and not press anything. It's just so weird. <sighs> well, that was the second death there. I'll catch you guys at the finale. Those three notes were the last there, but I fumbled it. Talk about over the top. Let's show the show off who's a boss. Uh, well, that was the third time there. I'm getting closer and more familiar with the uh, with the rhythm, I guess. But uh, well, I died once again. I did a couple more times after my initial third attempt, but well, you know, you guys didn't see it, so this is my fourth try, guys. I did it first try. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> you lost, chicken man, L Chicken. You have been defeated by yours truly, Clover, the greatest dancer in the whole world. And my second profession is also a cowboy. You have proven your passion, little one. I apologize if the dance was strenuous on your health. I died like many times, man. Sometimes having fun means a few doctor's visits. Isn't it, isn't it the apple though? However, it seems that you do not love dance as much as I. Perhaps you find happiness through other means? I have never considered that for quiet monsters such as you. Ah, uh, well, I at least hope your day has been brightened. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell. El Chicken, goodbye. Well, that was pretty fun actually. I almost died. <laughs> I died though. No. Flavi, I'm so sorry. I disappointed you. I really thought I could actually make it, Flavi, but. Well, the truth sometimes hurts. What is this? Pick up the dimensional satchel. Oh? Does it mean I have more items now? Oh, that's pretty cool. I see, I see, I see. Uh, let me heal myself first. Which one? I actually used the least healing item already. I mean, wait, no, it's the candy corn that's the heal least healing item. I don't know if there's going to be safe for it. I'm afraid I might uh, encounter an enemy. But I, I suppose I shouldn't have to worry because I can heal while fighting since I go first. Oh, we're going down actually. Ah, oh, it's too bright. I've, my eyes have been adjusted to the lonesome darkness of the mountain tops. And now we're back to the desert. Oh, good old home. Hey there, Flo, what are you doing in the sand pit? Howdy! Looks like we're back on solid ground. That mine sure was a detour, but a bunch was a bunch of slackers. Anyway, let's keep up the pace, buddy. And we're in the playgrounds. Who would have thought Flo had it hidden in him, you know? That inner child that's still lingering somewhere. It isn't exactly flattering to live in a sandbox, by the way. Let's get going before the local kids think I'm some new toy. But you are though. You're the cutest little flower in the underground. What's the hold up, pal? Eh, you know, just but, uh, talking with you and pestering you a little bit. Oh, it's one of those things. <laughs> do you want to get in there? I'll, I'll do it for you. <sighs> this playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. Where's your playmate, anyway? Okay, can I play with you though? Hop on, yeah, sure. 
Can I... I, I cannot do anything. Oh, look at Clover's little feet dangling. <laughs> mm, so, enjoying yourself, uh, Ping, girl, fox, squirrel, whatever you are. I like your hair, by the way. It reminds me of Metaton. In a good way, in a good way, you know. Uh, I'm not the best conversation starter. But you know what? Clover's little feet dangling. That's a plus 10 million points for me. Thanks for sitting with me. I hope we can be friends. <gasps> I better get going soon. My papa's probably wondering where I am. Alright, you do you then, pal. I'll see you around. Uh, let me save one more time, Flower. Alright. So, where do we go from here? Left or right? Let's go left first. Oh, is this... What is this? Uh, attention. Gift shop, gift shop ahead, right? Yeah. Oh. Alright. What's this? There's a note attached to the cactus. 50% off on all of our product. Okay. The ads in products is crudely scribbled out, so the only one item I see. Opening hours Monday, Friday, 8 a.m., 4 p.m., Saturday, Sunday, 8 a.m., 2 p.m., lunch break, 12 to 12.15. Ah, cool. Well, hello there. Why do you have a, like, a glass of milk over here? Can I take it? No? Okay. Step right up. We got a blow up sale going on. Uh, because there's only one item, I see. It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. We only ordered one stock of muck. It has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years. That thing is probably dusty and moldy as hell. Demand is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now. Only 40G, bucko. Disappointed, but not surprised. The sale is over. You had your chance to buy the premium mug, but you refused. Looks like you won't find a home anytime soon. Sorry, I don't make the rules to economics. Oh, so I just... I thought that he would beg me to like buy it again, but well, I guess we will never know what's inside that mug anymore. Truly a shame. Oh, wait, let me... Hello boss, I'm a new cell, I mean not new customer, I've never been here before. Do you have a new cell? Oh, okay. Alright, it seems that with Undertale Yellow, they only give you like one chance at everything. The puzzles, the questionnaire, and these things over here. There is no, not much of a joke kind of thing going on, so if you want it, you have to do it on your first try. If you don't, you'll never get it again. Lesson learned. And the pack, uh, I mean the, the box on this pad over here has been removed by somebody. I wonder who. Anybody over here? Uh, I think we can do a little bit of backtrack now. Maybe we can uh, meet some new people and some new dialogue. It's a slime, I'm overjoyed. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to check up on some uh, previous areas to see if there's something new or not. One hour later. No, oh, this is some new dialogue. What are you doing back here? The exit is the other way, silly. Let's get going. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's a new dialogue because I backtracked here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, well, well. Would you look at... Did you have to ruin that moment, Dune, but god freaking damn it. Alright, as I was saying, the other guy finally blew this space up, so you know, we might as well check it out and see what's inside. Well, hello there. What are those things uh, jumping up and down? I entered this cave to find treasure, but I found these fellas instead. They hopped up to me and now, I guess we're buddies? Is that how that works? I guess it is. In any case, nice. If there's uh, any treasure around, you can have it. I think these funky frogs are all in the Oh, those are frogs. Are those the same frogs from the ruins where they're so tiny they live in the quacks or something? Oh, and my brother, I guess he's okay. What do you mean by that? He literally stole his stuff and he was depressed. Sometimes happiness is just a couple of pals chilling in a cave. Other times, he's more complicated. Mine is definitely the former because I can't even spell the word complicated. Oh, uh, I, I, I didn't even check that out. Well, and by the way, is that mine, first word mine over there apparent because we're in the mine caves or something? On your way out, say hi to my brother for me, eh? So I guess we just have to go back to the brother uh, next time. So what do we have in here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, look at this. A beautiful, delicious looking golden cactus catches your eye. Take it, yeah. You got a golden cactus. So what is this? I want chi cactus. Gaster cactus? Oh my god. 
Heals 15 HP for 3 turns. The first bite hurts for 5 HP. Oh. So, like, 10 HP the first time? And then 15, 15? Is that it? The forbidden snack. <laughs> well, I'm, pre I'm glad we came back. There isn't that much, but still. But still. And you, go and apologize to your brother, you freaking goofy ass. Alright, that was pretty fun. I don't know if there's anything back over here. I might as well check it. And, you know, I'll... Go back to the brother and see if there's some new dialogue later. Oh, I somehow missed this in the earlier parts of uh, this area. There are some packing peanuts in the box. Will you take them? Yeah. You got packing peanuts. Alright. So, I guess it's a healing item? Heals 10 HP. Ideal for preventing damage or destruction of fragile stomach contents. Huh. There is nothing here of conceivable use to you. Alright, that's pretty cool. I uh, forgot that you can go through that over there, it just didn't cross my mind at the time. And we're back here at the dimensional box. Alright, I suppose there's nothing here at the beginning anymore. We're going to go to the cave mines, east mines cave, whatever it's called. And we're going to talk to those guys again. Alright then. I went through the entire east mines, but there was pretty much nothing and the girl left. Can I not use this one? What a shame. I cannot play with it anymore. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, let's see what do we have over here. Some patches of green grass. Bobby, is this your family over here? Oh, hello there. Rosa approaches from the flower bed, twisting a flower in her hand. <coughs> Likes a good challenge. Alright. If you want a flower from me, you gotta prove yourself. I actually have a flower from you already. Well, I don't think flower is from you, but you know what I mean. Plays back and forth cheerfully. Flatter? You tell Rosa her flowers are stunning. Ha! <laughs> Don't I know it? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Chill. A flower petal attack. You're not Flowey, come on now. Flowey is here. You are not her. Or him, I don't, I don't know. Inquire? You ask if you can have one of Rosa's flowers. I don't know. Can you? Uh, we're not gonna start that, okay? We are not gonna start that. Oh, Jesus. Rose is on the stage. Use your thumbs up. What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, that was something. Alright. I, I suppose there was like a mini mini boss there for some reason. That was... Oh. Howdy. Gee, looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mice, time has been pretty friendly to us. I died, Flowey. Should be a... Th oh? Is it the bird? Great. <clears throat> Clover, you're alive. You're here. Yes, somehow I'm alive. Thank you for your concern. You're here? I can't believe myself. I left you all alone in the cave. You had to brave the dunes by yourself. I'm a horrible friend. They trust me to be a royal guard and I left a child for that. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> it's okay, calm down. I... Yes, thank you. You're clearly able to take care of yourself. The crash just happened so fast. Just happened, just happened. <laughs> when I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. So I, uh... Sit by a cactus for an hour, thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. Jesus Christ. Alright, look, if you sat there for an hour just for that, I'll forgive you. I didn't got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but... Yeah, you were. So, I'm deeply sorry. Yeah, I'll forgive you. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I don't understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you wanna hang around, that's great. I didn't get to sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? Uh, now I have to go back, just so... Okay, what, what's over here first, though? I wonder if she has some unique dialogue. To the other characters in the um, is my god damn it, man. I went all the way by myself. Now I have to go there again. Oh god. Welcome to Olsis Valley. Home to the largest body of water in the dunes. 
Ah, I see. Oh. Are you sure this is actual water or are you guys just hallucinating? Pinch, pinch. Beware of my pincer straddler. Is it a crab with a pyramid as a house? What about you? I do not have any treasure hidden within my shell. Why do monsters keep asking me that? Hi, hi, hi. There could be a firewall hiding in there, just, you know, sleeping a very, very tiny firewall. We are not a cage within these fences, traveler. It is a choice. It is nice to live in a familiar place with a pack. It is also nice to be fed and taken pictures of. A more comfortable living zoo, I suppose. <laughs> Hello there, what are you? This monster is too busy quenching their thirst to speak. With eye catching water like that, who could resist? I mean, it looks like a Pokemon, though, that, that green monster Pokemon from Pokemon. I don't know what it's called, though. Your reflection sparkles and distorts in the pool of water. You notice a high temp filtration system keeping it drinkable. Oh, interesting. It seems that a lot of stuff here are imported from Hotland. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? You look like the Yan from this, uh, the Honeydew Resort earlier. It's a lovely day, ain't it? It is always this hot and humid, you think? I just moved here from Snowdin, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? Do I look like a local here? I mean, I'll take the compliment. I cook it. I got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot around here? See, like, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. Alright, I'll leave it to you then. I'll call today blistering hot, I think. Or is that too unoriginal? Maybe something more interesting, like... Pickling hot? That makes no sense actually, so maybe not then. I'll have to think about this some more. Wait, do you know my nephew? Oh, there we go. So you are uh, like the cousin, right? Cousin? Yeah. Adorable. Where's pink gloves? You look just like this nice little buddy. Boo hoo, he talked about coming around. So, tell me, how's my little wubby dubby doing? He never writes me anymore. Says he's too embarrassing or whatnot. I'm not that, that embarrassing of an aunt, you know? Oh, so you're her, he, her aunt, yeah. I'm not as embarrassing as my sister, I'll tell you that. She just goes on and on, my little smoky bear. Have you seen him? So precious of him, my bad. I, I'm sorry. Makes me sick, fell out, fell outing 101 if you ask me. I just like to talk about my little snoodokin sometimes, is that so bad? I'm sorry, what were we talking about, sweetie? Alright, well, I'll leave you to it then. Uh, oh, there we go, we can talk with uh, with her. I forgot your name again. <laughs> There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong honeydew razor vibes. After I get tired of keeping the peace every day, I may move here. A mighty fine retirement plan, yeah? Can you, you know, live here? You look like the kind of animal, I mean monster that prefers a uh, colder climate. Alright, so that's pretty much it here then. What else can we do? Nothing here, nothing. Uh, we don't have any stats of her. Uh, Alright, so let's see here. What's this house? Oh, it's the fortune teller. And somebody wanted us to like talk to her, right? Was it the fox girl at the East Mines earlier? What's over here? Oh, a large ornate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. We need a key then, I suppose. Do you have anything to say about that? Hey, I think I know who lives here. Guess she doesn't want visitors. Makes sense, poor thing. Who lives here? Help me! Okay. You know, good to know that there's only one line of dialogue because I'm going to keep checking it if I <laughs> if I didn't know. What's over here? Like a tavern or something? Yeah, that is blocked. There's like a muck over there. Above the table is a painting of a large salty stone. It's almost as if the heat lives right off the canvas. Huh. What about you? Who are you? Visiting from the Wild East, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. Ah, oh, I see, so it's locked because you're preserving the grass in there. Isn't there like grass outside as well though? The dunes didn't used to be like this. Rivers, trees and plenty of grass paint in the area. Lush and beautiful. This was years ago, of course. 
the memory soft and escapes me. It's hard to blame anyone for the loss of those things. Poor Minus had no idea such a large stone could kill an ecosystem. Oh. No one did. It was a new discovery at the time. I suppose it was nature's will. I began a small project south of here. Planted a sapling in an empty shelter. The townsfolk and I watch over it, giving it water every day. If we're lucky, it will grow into something wonderful. A glimpse of days gone by. Interesting. Enjoy the rest of your visit, partner. Alright. What about you, Melstone? I apologize for not talking with the residents more. With my bird brain, who knows what might slip out. <laughs> Alright, is that a cabin over here? No, can we go upstairs? Oh, we can. It just... You found 330G in one of the pants pockets. Uh, wait, can I take it though? Is it... You got 30G? I'm sorry whoever those green pants are. But well, your money is mine now. Neon green pants, your favorite. And then we just go back, right? Yeah. There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong... Oh wait, there's the side, never mind. Alright. I cannot go to the other side, no matter how hard I try. There's like some rows and gemstones or something. Ah, so what do we have over here then? Do you have any dialogues here, birdie? Can I say this is how I thought my day would end up? Meeting a human, visiting a new place. Couple checks off the bucket list for sure. Alright. So what do we have down here? I'll check the fortune teller later. There's a plan. Hello, who are you? You look... Huh, you look familiar. Is it? Is this the character from Undertale Red? The design looks similar as well as the face. And if you don't know Undertale Red, it's like a mini Undertale fan game. Boss fight, long long time ago. It looks like that character. Maybe I'm tripping, but who knows. Oh, oh, hey Clover. Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. Oh, th this person over here? You still think I'm your... <laughs> you cannot did explain to your mother human, right? Two legs, two arms, one head, and a hair? I think all of those humans, uh, you know, facts check us out. Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm so sorry, I just told you. No, no, I'm sorry, I just get it off then. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. Not that you are a grumpy monster. I'm sure you are very nice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what's your name? It's Clover. Huh? No, not you, silly. Her. At uh, least Clover is also adorable. Okay, alright. I was correctly right, okay? I was right. It's literally just the character from Undertale, right? God freaking damn it. But it's cool to see the character being referenced in this game. Just shows you how long this game has been in development. That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. You're more of a pink color character in here in Until Yell, to be honest. To be honest, I hope that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it stop. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic. I'd be glad to show you the rest of my job. You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a co violation now that I think about it. Ah, it's fine. What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. Yeah, that's a fair point. We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to. But I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh, you're serious? Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, sure? Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya! Uh, did they really, were originally like from the Royal Guards in Undertale Red as well, I wonder? It's been like a couple of years now, I don't remember. Anything else you have to say? Rest there accurately. She isn't prepared for a second conversation. Oh, come on now. But you're not red, you're pink! <laughs> Alright, right, I like it, I like it. I like they paid uh, their... <laughs> not respect. Uh, the, the something, the something, something terms that, that I forgot about for Undertale Red. So, what do we have in here? Sorry, I'm not home. Hey, open up. He said, I'm the sheriff of this part. Open up. You have something fishy going on, don't you? Oh, well. If we, I cannot um, get in, so you know what? UGPS, deliver my emails. 
Oh, that's so cool. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Cause you know what time it is? Mail time, mail time. Ooh, we received some mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I'm a set sail. And goodbye, the best character in Undertale Yellow. So what mail did we get this time? Shuffler's letter. Oh, the Shuffler's guys, the, the mug guys from a Snowden Hunt Dew Resort. Through our latest Shuffler's recruit, Tosir, there's someone out in the water that we forgot to warn you about. This scruffy fellow with a blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavors. I won't tell you why, cause this letter is way cooler as a mystery. Now, uh, let's Swig uh, finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset Swig. <laughs> and they have their own stamp as well. But it's pretty cool. I don't think it's worthy enough of a pin, but it's still cool nonetheless. Triplets. Is it because of the shopper so we have a triplets over here or something? Oh. I'm afraid of going somewhere that, you know, might potentially just uh, let, let me go to the next area. So I kind of don't want to go in those places yet. Some kind of ancient inscription. No, no, no. It's, it's like this, Clover. Mini, mini mu. Tiny, bini bu. Oh. And that's how you do it. Free hugs. Oh. Hey, dude. I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it. You already read my sign, didn't you? I hate myself. I can give you free hugs. No, don't bother asking. I'm closing shop. <laughs> this was a dumb idea. Even if, even if you did hug me, which would be sick, I'd probably kill you. Not intentionally, of course. That'd be a crime, and I hate crime. Oh great, you might be a criminal now, you definitely won't hug me. Just walk away, it would be better for both of us. Bake sale, bake sale. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders, of spiders. Huh? All proceeds to go to the spiders in need. Will you buy a spider donut for 7G? Uh, this is just straight out a rip down from Undertale. Yeah, sure. You are most gracious, have a nice day. Big sale, big sale, come eat food. I'll proceed, will you buy? No, I already bought some. And I think that's enough. I don't know how many spider donuts I can buy, that's the problem. Heals 12 HP, a donut made with spider cider in the batter. Uh, you know what, maybe we can buy a little bit more, I don't know how much they can sell. If it's infinitely, then I might just lose all of my Gs. Uh, anything more? Alright. Your mousse. Anything more? I'm so sorry, but we run out of donuts. I'll make sure to bake a fresh batch as soon as I can. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. You still want a hug? Bro, you need to learn when to let go. If you won't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they are very expensive hugs. Whatever amount of money you own, they are like triple that. I'm honestly not sorry. <laughs> okay, I kinda still want a hug, but I'm in this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, I can give you hugs, okay? I'm the hug monster. They call me Hug Clover, okay? Oh, what's this? A sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential but has yet to reach it. One day it might. Interesting. Look at that little thing. Trying its best to grow big and strong, I bet. Well, I cannot do anything about it though. Wait, 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 there's something over here? No? No, th there's nothing. Oh well. That looks like a huge fat bird, by the way. Let's go over here as well. So, what is this place, I wonder? Huh? Nothing? The architecture here is fascinating. Back home, almost everything is made from wood. Maybe I should start building with stone? Will it melt in Snowdin though? Wait, Snowdin is cold though. What is this place? Um... Alright, I think that's the new area there. So before we proceed any further, let's go back first. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this place. Quite modern if I do say so myself. And it looks like the tiles have been covered in the dust or the sand. Maybe this place used to look a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Who knows, who knows. Well, hello there guys. The game zone. We have a little bit of a coffee shop in here. Jeez, I was hoping it'd be cooler in here, but nope. <laughs> Have you given up your life of being a wrangler to experience modernism? I highly suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life one could choose. Chic architecture... Chic? 
trick architecture, light switches, Latin machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. Uh, he is so far gone into the world of modernism. It's so sad to see a pal girl. Why did you choose to live in the dunes and not somewhere modern like Holland? Because I wanna feel important. If I walk around using tech in front of monsters who don't, I'm the cool one. I'm probably the most secure monster around. Eh, you do you, I guess. I need to invest in a nice suit to really sell my status. Gotta say, there's something incredibly unsettling about not wearing clothes. Wait, you're actually naked? Birdie, don't look. It's not it's not for the faint of heart. Well, you, you know, enjoy your life in here. Why am I sitting and why am I on top of the table? This is not correct. What are you? Are you like a hyena? I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles as the AC, that ain't good news. That is the AC right there. Uh, holy crap, I mean actually it's kinda clever. You play and you're also cool at the same time. This is the only place that keeps up the modern trends in the dunes. How do monsters live without good old electricity? Especially those wild is folks. That life ain't for me. I mean hey, I, I am not gonna judge you, you know. You do you, you do whatever you feel comfortable. By the way, I've heard talks of re reforesting the dunes lately. I don't know how, but I'm rooting for it. Okay. It's grounded. How disappointing. We cannot take it, unfortunately. Spent 3G to play. Yeah, sure. What's this? Mew Mew Love Blaster. Jesus, a game inside of a game. Alright. Mew Mew Love Blaster. <laughs> uh, dash to safety. Hold to go further. And give it to your owl. Shoot, hold Z. Okay, let's see. A voice, sadness, and spread the joy. Ooh, okay. Oh, I got hit already. Alright, this is actually tough. What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's so fast. Ah, oh, he got hit again. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, I missed it. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Alright, I think those are decent. No! I <sighs> was so close. Well, Alphys, I bet Alphys will spend her days playing this game over here. Oh, I don't have to insert another coin to play. Well, this is quite generous then. Back in my day, every time you die, well, another coin goes into the arcade machine. I've never been to an arcade place before. I've been to a PC then, but no arcades, unfortunately. Alright, there we go. Ow! They kind of only shoot once and then you're free to like do whatever you want. What's this? Ooh, okay, okay. There we go, there we go. And there we go. Ah, uh, we ran out. Oh. Wait, wait, give me the give me the give. There we go. What is that? Uh, okay. Oh wait, I could have gone up, I forgot. Are you serious? There isn't an actual freaking boss fight in this minigame. Now I have to defeat it, be defeated, man. There's no way I, I can just let it go like this. Ooh, triple, I see. Okay, 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 there we go. Keep shooting, keep attacking. I mean, spread the joy, spread the joy. We do not attack people here, we are good, we are good heroes. Alright, alright. Good RNG over here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh no, why did I do that? So dumb. Alright, keep, 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 keep. Alright, uh, again. Go up, go up, then in a circle. How tough is this samurai guy? Jesus. Oh, there we go. We finally spread the love. Okay, let's try to survive one more time and see if there's like other boss monsters besides that guy. Be careful, be careful. Just uh, pay attention to the uh, bullets and we should be safe, I think. Oh, okay, so it's just the same guy over and over again there. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I got it, I got it. Alright, there we go. Now we just go in a circle like this. There we go. 
in a circle, in a circle. There we go. Triple damage, nice, we did it. Alright, maybe we can try to get a thousand points, but I doubt that will happen. If there were like more bosses, I would have considered trying to do uh, even better. But eh, 880, I'll take that. Alright, that was pretty cool. If somebody can beat my high score, you know, you're free to do so. It's a, it's a little bit hard, you know, I, w I will admit it, I will admit it. Beating my high score, that is. But I, if you can do it, then by all means, go ahead. Out of order, please stop feeding it money. <laughs> no, but I want to play whatever that game is. Oh, there's somebody already there. Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, you're a kid like me. I bet you're good at these machines. Have you tried out Mew Mew Love Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it, though. I heard there's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. Bet you could totally kick his butt. Wait a minute, no! Is it the 1000 points for the final boss? Oh, I have to go back now. If you're around the area and need monsters to hang with, my friend group are the coolest kids around. The headcount has been down lately, but it's still a fun time. Huh. Yo, I'm sorry if I'm hogging this game. I'm determined to unlock a secret character I saw on the under net. So far, I haven't had any luck, but it's gotta be real. I saw the screenshot. Okay, now I'm... Uh, if you read it there, now I'm kind of contemplating whether I should go to the final boss or not. Can't talk, gaming. Alright, you do you, gamer bro. Alright, you know what? I'll try to get 1000 points and then see if there's like a boss, 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 boss battle, you know? It will be a little bit tedious because I'll probably die a lot. I got 200 just by pure luck and chance. A little bit of skill, but I, I'm not one to complain. I've been through worse. Oh, all right, all right. Oh God, what is that? All right, all right. No. No, I got good. Jesus, you have to survive all the way there with three HP only. This is freaking tough, man. Uh, and I was so close as well. There were some minions at the end there as well. It's going to be a freaking hellish battle. Oh man. All right, really, let's do this. We can do this. I believe in myself. Or at least I think I do. That's it, that's it. Last boss, last boss. Yeah. <laughs> it took me like nine minutes to do that. God damn it. <sighs> Alright. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. We did it, boys. Hey, I did it. Can't. You know what? One thing I'm disappointed is after you finish a certain actions, sometimes they do recognize that and they talk to you about it. But sometimes, well, they just became an NPC. Ah. Alright. A child's drawing depicting three happy monsters. My precious family by me. Ah, three happy monsters. I don't want to speculate, but as we... <laughs> oh man, my hands are shaking. Jesus, that took me a little bit of a while. I mean, come on, man. You have only three lives and you have to dodge so many freaking bullets. I guess this is how freaking Toho players feels all of the time. So, do you have anything to say? Hello there, miss. What, uh, what even are you? Are you a reptilian? I will tell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better himself. Themself, I mean. That's me, I'm the owner. <laughs> We're not long now. I don't see myself improving anytime soon. Come on, I, I believe in you, no? Uh, can you recognize it now? Okay, well, let's just leave then. Man, I spent 90 minutes in there just trying to defeat the Mew Mew Blaster thing. <laughs> huh. Ooh, I bet I can tell your fortune, Clover. Yes, hmm. I see you with a brand new hat. One that just screams, I'm a human. 
kidding. By the way, your hair's plenty cool as is. Thank you. Uh, what do we have over here? I cannot go in the back, unfortunately. Alright, hello there. Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only 5G per fortune. Now, you may be thinking that price is a little low. What quality fortune from an experienced fortune teller costs 5G? Well, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So, can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Yeah, sure. Let us see what the world has in store for you. Oh, Jesus. Hmm, oh dear. The future seems to indicate you are in for a tumble. Oh, no, 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 no. It looks like a big one to you. It will happen very soon. Hang on. Oh, tumble. I guess I got a little excited and missed that second part. Sorry for the scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, yeah, sure. Let's see what the world has in store for you. <gasps> what is it? Hmm, ah, yes, here we go. A very specific reading, too. They are rare. Ah, these are rare, I mean. In approximately two minutes, it will be 10. <laughs> well,. I hope that knowledge is helpful. <sighs> the reason I slam my desk there is because that's just my IRL time. So yeah, in 2 more minutes it's going to be 10.16. I'm recording this in the morning. I'm being exposed, boo freaking who. Hmm, gah. I have never seen a fortune this dark before. I, are you sure you want to hear it? What am I saying? You have a right to hear it. Um, hold on, let me steal myself first. Okay. I see that in your future, what? Uh, but do not worry too much, there is no t given time. And well, everyone dies eventually. Maybe I am seeing a hundred years from now or two hundred, that is even better. Oh, so that was actually quite real. It was probably my death with Asgore after fighting him. Hmm, oh, I got something. Oh goody, it is you! I see you and- Oh, this is exciting, you are walking! Walking past a big clear water cooler in- Oh wait, hold on. You don't wear stripes, do you? Is that Frisk? There's no way that's Frisk, right? That doesn't look like you at all! Sorry, no charge on that one, cause it wasn't about you. A water cooler? And in water cooler, there were like some water cooler in Hotland? With Undyne, right? I mean, that could be Frisk, and the sh kid with a sh striped shirt, that's just Frisk. I have no idea who else could it be. Did Kara wear a striped shirt? I don't think they did. Oh, I suppose I can only see future four times a day. You may come back tomorrow. Ah, is it tomorrow already? I am never sure. It is hard to tell when you cannot see the sun go down. I do not think it is tomorrow yet, so I will assume it is not. Alright. You know what, I'm kind of tempted to come back tomorrow, like, in real time tomorrow, tomorrow. Just to see if it actually tracks it. But, um, all of those things were pretty cool. I liked it, I liked it. But now here comes the actual dreadful part. We need to go back all the way, just to see new dialogue from Martley. I think that was the name. Oh, we should probably get going. You don't have any words here? What about here? Wait, why Flowey? Ah, interesting. Floyd doesn't want to be seen for some reason. I wonder why. Ah, oh, the playground is super cute. I should build one of these back home for school. There was a school in Snowden? Alright, let's go in. Uh, let's go in here, actually. Because once, once we go into the East Mines, we have to, like, go all the way back from uh, there to here, so to the playground. Yeah, I'm getting thirsty. I typically bring a canteen when I travel, but... I kind of left all of my belongings at my station. It's fine, we can, you know, buy something from here. That is, if we could. Excuse me, sir. Shouldn't a gift shop have, you know, gifts? Do you see those shelves? I do? Yeah, thought so. What? <laughs> uh, wait, 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 Martley is here. Can you not give a cell for her? No? Oh, man. Not exactly digging the vibe of this place. I'm ready to leave when you are. Oh, so that's an extra dialogue there. And now I'm tempted to check every single part again. Oh no. <laughs> I hate this part of myself. If I don't check it, I'm going to lose my freaking mind, man. Alright, there's something here. I'll just show whenever there's some new dialogues then. 
where you had a few run-ins on your journey, right? And they're all like this. I wonder what kind of battle music they had. What do you mean by that? Alright, oh, you may not know. There's this phenomenon with monsters. When they focus while in a battle, melodic vibrations echo from us. It's almost like it's in our heads, but it's possible the opponent hears it as well. Uh-huh. Self-aware a bit much? I always hear super dramatic music when I fight. It may not fit me to be honest, but it's the feeling I strive for. I wonder, could humans find their own melody if determined enough? An interesting thought. So, do you know about determination as well? Do monsters in this era know about determination? With me around, you shouldn't have to worry about fights anymore. It isn't because they don't like me. It's that monsters typically don't attack other monsters. At least I hope that's the reason. <laughs> I'm personable, right? Let's just say yes to avoid being anxious to the rest of the day. Well, you know what? You, you, you. Alright, so that's the same. What a terrible sight. Ava was such a beauty and look at her now. A hundred smaller beauties. <laughs> I should. No, never mind. We don't have time. Let's go. Did she want to repair right here right now or something? Let's push ahead, Clover. I thought that she might be able to open this thing over here, but I guess not. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so I went... Wait, I still have the East Mine Coast. I mean East Mine Caves. Ah! Oh my gosh, look at all the gemstones in the walls. I might have to sneak a few out of here. <laughs> look at that face, I love that. Don't rat me out. Aren't you the royal guard though? I don't think you should be doing that though. We should probably find a way to Hotland soon, yeah? Nah, 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 nah. We need to exterminate, not exterminate, but take out every single living bread you have under your mouth or beak, just so, so I know what you want to tell me, you know? Alright, so this is the same. Oh, the other guy finally went out and to, like, uh, stop the, the rocks falling down. No wonder why I didn't see any rocks while coming up here. Hope you're having a good time at Mining Co. Oh, that's it? Alright. What a breathtaking view. Isn't it fascinating how large the underground is? Feels almost too large sometimes. I may, <coughs> I may seem audacious, but I'm a little uneasy right now. <laughs> Bit of a homebody. Like to stay where it's familiar. Focus on my hobbies and job, you know? But I'm working on it. Not doing great, but working on it. Well, as long as you do something about it, I guess. Just saying, last time I stepped out and took a risk, I ended up regretting it so much you wouldn't believe. But I guess it taught me that growth is possible. Good growth, bad growth, don't know yet. I'm still not even used to normal adult responsibilities. Cut me some slack. Waking up before noon sucks. Best burp in the entire underground, I agree. Why the hell would you wake up in the morning? <laughs> I look. I, I know. I, I know. I'm re recording at 10 a.m. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I can only sleep for like six or four hours now. It's just instinctive. If I sleep at night, four or six hours at best. If I sleep at morning, then I'll wake up like at 9 p.m. in the in the, in, in the evening or something. Guess I'm lucky. My job involves something I like doing. I could be working here at the mines or even worse, retail. Glass half full, Clover. Glass half full. <laughs> it's always full, technically, and there's an air inside it. Alright. That was a nice conversation. Hey there, so you finally shut it down, huh? Hello, sir. I'm guessing you're the boss of this mine. Well, not for much longer. Oh, why's that? I'm preparing for retirement. There we go. Finally, man. Take it. You need it. It'll be sad to leave this place behind, but I feel it's time. Hey, that's not all bad. I wish I could retire. Yeah, it'll be nice. Just gotta find someone to replace me. I have a few ideas. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you. Aw. Finally figure out how to turn these machines off. Me and Northstar need to have a chat. Ah, oh, interesting. Guess? Oh, okay, that's the same. So it finally stopped, huh? Interesting. I wonder if I could have turned it off myself somewhere earlier, but I don't think that's the case. Alright, let's go then. See ya, man. Good luck with your retirement, you know, have a fun life with your wife and your children. I'm definitely thinking that the children were inherited. 
Look at that, uh, Modley. I, I don't remember your name, I'm so sorry. I keep calling you Birdie, Modley. I, I know it starts with an M, but that's, that's about it. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we are not gonna comment about the chicken man. El Chicken El Nino. Oh well, it doesn't have to be. Alright then. I think I have explored every single place I could in this in this area. So I think it's finally time to go to the next area, whatever that is. Outland maybe, waterfall, I don't really know. But yeah, I enjoyed this place quite a lot actually. A lot of those interactions, interesting characters. And that little flower that will definitely bloom at the end of the game. And also this character right here, oh my god. I wonder if it's going to be like a secret boss fight later if somehow I manage to trigger it. Maybe only on genocide route if there is any. But um, yeah, I think it's finally time to go. Man, it's so hot. I'm starting to miss Snowden. You doing okay in those heavy clothes? I'd pass out by now. <laughs> I have my own temperature, uh, little birdie, Marley. So you don't have to worry about it. What's this? Is that a sexy cactus? Cacticus. Cactus, I mean. Sorry, buddy, this pad is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behavior. <laughs> we should probably, yeah. Hey, little fella, there ain't nothing to see here. As I checked, anyway. Maybe one day there will be a great treasure lying beyond my hotbot. But as alpha right now, there is only a hotbot. Mine. Stone baiting is a delicate process. The more you make me flap my lips, the more uneven my tan will be. At this rate, I'm gonna be a whole ass gradient. Wow, I wasn't expecting the no, that word there, but hey, paste, 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 paste. Yeah, uh huh. Cool. Keep disturbing me. Love it. All right, I'll keep your. I keep. I mean, I'll leave your ass lying down there. Hmm, there's gonna be a way to hotline somewhere. You think so? We are at the well now. Oh. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, I left all my G at home. Would you lend me one? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Hmm. I wish that Clover will make it back home safely. Aww. Now you have me and a wish on your side. And some in the, the shufflers. Don't forget about the shufflers. I wish you well with a large amount of G inside. That's it? No, nothing? Oh, no. The dude's wishing well. Oh, hold a G close to your chest, think of what you want most, and toss it in. You never know. If enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. Interesting. Alright, so we need to embark on a journey once more now. What's this? A train track? Huh. Oh. Ah, I see. An oak base with iron nails holding it together. Oh, sorry, I was nerding out for a second. Sure is a cool wagon. I agree. You have nothing to say? We can move on. I've seen enough. Ah, oh, interesting. She was quite silent there for some reason. Why is this pathway so long? What the hell? Oh no. This town ain't big for the two of us, partner. Oh, hang on. I think someone's coming this way. Who is it? Oh, quite fabulous. Guys, look here. That guy's voice is very deep. Someone new has stumbled into our humble town. Oh. This better not be another joke. Oh my. For what? Don't look like it is. There are five of them. Ah oh yeah, strangers. Oh, hello. We just... Wait, there's only four? Where's the fifth guy? We're just passing through. This boy is my freaking nurse, man. It's missing one more crew member. Where are they? Where are they? We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one with the wind now. Oh my gosh, you? <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. It wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you we are a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I... Ugh. Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bounds. Never! Well, it was a pleasure to meet you for, Bert. We'll be going now. Oh. There it is. The leader. <laughs> oh, God. Are my pals come now? 
That ain't a way to treat guests now, is it? Do we have to fight all five of them? The name's Northstar, I run this town. Not alone, of course, so this is the, uh, the wild east over here. These fine monsters are my pose today. Together, we are. The Fisty Five. She. Our name stands for... Fearlessness. Excellent. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. Youthfulness. Justice. The J is silent. Oh, so like, uh, us this? Anyway, now that we are introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy, are they a human? Um, well, I won't say... Oh, I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind. That this kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once in a lifetime opportunity. And uh, fetch me that kid. No. uh Oh, I, I just got... <laughs> Look at Clover's face. Wait, what are you doing with Clover? Ah, uh, Clover, is it? That's a mighty fine name. To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I are gonna town to run. Don't Feathers me. You're speaking to Martlet of the Voyager. Martlet, not Martley. Yeah, I guess Martley sounds cool as well. I can and will report you to King Asgo for this abrasive behavior. You're a royal guard? That's funny, cause I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, batch. I have left it all at my post in Snowdin. Please don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I am truly sorry about this, I really am. But business is business. Together we'll be the 56. So now I'm part of the crew as well? Is it because of my attire? The alliteration. Shh. Ah. Clover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure this out. Star, should we be doing this? Poor Mudless is upset. Don't be a buzzkill, Moray. When the last time something exciting happened around here? You've got a point. <laughs> this town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's get going, bud. Oh, goodbye, Martlet. Oh, and Feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. There we go. <laughs> Clover Space! Brokip, girls of Wise Water for the house. I have an announcement to make. Wow. There's a variety of characters here. I like it. <laughs> oh, look at Clover's dangling legs again. This little fella here is Clover. Hi. Hey, Star. What the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? Sarah, what does what, what does the several shots mean? Like, shh, or something? No, I know what you're all thinking. But trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. Are they laughing at me? Actually, this could be fun. Dina, hit me. Alright, no more heckling from the crowd. <laughs> Ladies and gentle monsters, as Tiroba said, Clover is a human. Ooh. I know, exciting stuff, are we honored? Now, I will let Clover tell y'all about their life. But I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert if you didn't know. Oh great, here we go. Here we go indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? LIES! OBJECTION! Ooh, it's true. Large, full lake monsters. Ah, oh, you mean horses. They put a seat on the top of them and everything. They're called horses, Star. Well, at least you know your stuff. Uh, so you know one of them personally? That's quite impressive. <laughs> Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere. That's... that's not true. So the monsters burn, right? Most monsters are on fireproof. Sir, are you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery sphere? 
No, I'm well. I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Do the monsters die? Yes? Then I regret sharing the fact. Pretend I never said nothing. Anyways, did you know that? Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true, every word. Ha, huh, I knew it. I'm pretty good with good aren't I? I guess. What what kind of creature is he anyway? You're the best. Yeah, the only sheriff for me. <laughs> well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. Well, she's coming here. Oh no, she's leaving actually. As for you, Clover, it's about time you see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but... If there's one thing you have where you come from, it's freedom. Ah, partner. Take your time explaining. Talk to town townsfolk and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shot when you're ready to start training. What do you mean training? Okay. Oh, that's quite a lot of people in here. Oh no. You there, human. You okay? Yeah? Really? Well, alright then. I apologize for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but they never set foot on these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name is Seroba. I'm a friend of Star's, but not part of his pose. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask for your name? Clover, my lady. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into these activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier, you probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him for a bit, roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to live. I know of a safe path to hold them through the... Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. Alright, sweet pea. I'll talk to you later as well. So, if you're worried I'm not going to talk to the characters in that pub there... No, I just wanna say first. <laughs> look at Clover! I mean, look at Flavi having a pet as well. Howdy! You're finally embracing your inner cowboy, I see, Flavi. Gee, seems like my greeting has found its home. <laughs> like the hat, it's a disguise. This area is pretty populated, so I picked this up to be safe. You being separated from Marley is pretty lucky, but I hope this star guy doesn't hold you here for long. I may have to intervene if he does. We're in the wild east now, partner. I wasn't lying about being close to the exit earlier. I just didn't expect all of this. Yeah. On the bright side, you may be able to obtain some gear upgrades here. This roadblock isn't totally pointless. <laughs> and what else? Howdy! <laughs> Howdy! Alright. Oh. We can ring the bell. I don't have quite uh, my fond memories with the bell, I'm just saying. But um, yeah, I think I'll leave it here. I think this is still part of the dunes, but it says Wild East, so this is probably the new area. And well, this video is probably going to be like 2 hours at this point, so close to 3 hours actually. So I'm going to leave it here. Man, that was quite a lot of fun. I wish we had a little bit more aesthetic of the dunes, like in, like here in the Wild East. It's kind of weird saying what you like the Wild East and the Wild East, you know, back in my hometown or something, blah blah blah. But I, I still enjoy the dunes uh, regardless. But chicken, El Chicken guy, I wonder if he's here around these parts. It'll be quite fun to meet him. But man, I died. That's it. That was it for the uh, deathless run of Undertale Yellow. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. But yeah, I'll leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.